All right, today we're working on a Bobcat T740 that Mike and I have been working on. That It came up to us from someone else who bought this from a Sunbelt auction and the engine wasn't running. Well, it turned out that it had a bad crankshaft in it. So what they did is they got to rebuild the bottom end, they put it back together. Now the person who built this is a very capable uh, builder. He's built many of these engines, but this one just wasn't quite right. I talked to him on the phone for a couple hours and we could not get the engine to straight or to start although everything that we were checking and looking at on the computer, everything was kind of making sense. It just wasn't added up. It so it looked pretty good. Yeah, everything looked correct. So they sent it up here to our shop so we could just double check everything. And Mike and I went through this engine and, and what we're talking about is, is we couldn't get it to start. So we're gonna go through everything that we checked and then what we eventually found, what was wrong with it. So this is just more of an interesting type situation than, than anything, but also a good learning experience. Not very common at all not common at all i've never <laughs> seen this so let's talk about it engine came up here wouldn't start um you know first thing we do is we put on the computer just to verify all our settings we had crank signal we had rail pressure we had rail pressure we had cam signal but cam signal was just a little weird um but we can unplug either the cam or the crank and the engine should start. So we unplugged the cam just to eliminate the cam sensor and um, still wouldn't start. Replaced the cam sensor, still wouldn't start. Put a engine harness on it, still wouldn't start. We even took the injectors out like on a mechanical engine, flipped them around to make sure they were actually even firing. And they were, they were all firing fine. They were all firing perfectly. Uh, we checked the fuel, we had make sure we had uh, good fuel in it. We tried to pull fuel out of a diesel tank. Um, we did have an issue with that, um, which was what we, we thought was the problem originally. We had, uh, I guess, a mix of diesel and gasoline, or it smelled like gasoline. It's bad diesel. Yeah, it, it smelled off, and that's why we went to a remote can just to see, okay, well, maybe it's bad diesel because everything was there. I mean, everything on the computer checked out. We know we got compression. We know we got fuel. We know we got crank signals. We've got rail pressure. Um, we run the test on the IMV. And actually, the guy who was trying to start it, he put a whole nother fuel system on it. I mean, he put a new, um, not new, but a, a known working high pressure pump, rail injectors and everything. Still, wouldn't start. We're running out of ideas here. I'm starting to get desperate. Yep. I'm like, okay. All we know is that you put a crankshaft in, you know, but he's done many of these engines, so I kind of knew that it, it had to have been timed right, but I, I had to know. So we pulled the engine out, thanks to our trusty guy, Joel. You have to get, at least get a shot at Joel. He's, he's, he's our on, engine Joel. remover. Yay, muy bien. <laughs> <laughs> so he pulls the engine out, we pull the rear cover off, and, and we just verify timing, but we can see that he, he used a, um, a, a, a white, paint marker and he marked all his timing marks so I knew right away there's no way he missed timing but we went ahead and just retimed the gear section okay there, there's a difference between injector timing and engine timing so we made sure that the engine itself was in time put the engine back together kind of just slid it into place hooked it up still, still nothing. wouldn't start <laughs> so I'm starting to get desperate at this point nothing is making sense you've been you were desperate I, I was you, getting you've desperate. been you've been desperate yeah it was really kicking our butt. I've never, because not, I mean, we're, we, we just been doing it for a long time. We're pretty good at diagnosing no starts. And this one just was really kicking our butt. Okay. So we knew that was in time. There was only one other theory I could even possibly think of would be the problem. So on the front of our engine over here, we have what we call a tone wheel. Now this tone wheel goes on the front of the crank and this is what our crank position sensor right here can read these teeth on the tone wheel and this spot right here. And that's how our engine, our, our ECU knows exactly where in space, we call it, each piston is. It knows where top dead center is. And it, it, at all times in the whole 360 degree revolution, it knows where the piston is, whether it's compression or, or um, exhaust stroke. So this goes on the front of the crank and I was like, well, either there's something wrong with the tone wheel itself, which, which we inspected. None of the teeth are broke or bent or anything because that has been known to happen. But no, everything looked good. There's a pin here in the front of the crank 
that the tone wheel goes over. Okay. And now that's how, you know, it's solid. There's no movement back and forth. So the crank position sensor knows where in space to fire the injectors. So this is kind of what our ECU is using for injection timing. Remember we said gear timing, engine timing is different than injection timing. But everything looked here, looked okay, right? So yep. I'm like, all right, that's it. I'm done. I'm, I'm out of ideas. I, I don't know where to go next. So that kept me up all night last night. And I was like, what if this tone wheel is not pinned correctly? Because this is a new crankshaft. The problem is you cannot buy this crankshaft from Bobcat right now. They're just not available. Um, I don't know when they'll be available. Right now they're not available. So the guy who built the engine ordered this crankshaft from China. So I was like, what if it's pinned wrong? I mean, what's the odds that the, they would drill a hole here in the end of the crankshaft and pin the tone wheel incorrectly? So I called my buddy, I was like, hey, you got that old crankshaft there? And he's like, yeah, I still got it. So he sent me pictures of the end of the crankshaft and sure as hell, this pin, if we can see the crankshaft keyway here, see this pin is just to, well, it depends on how we look at it, but just to the left of it, that's what, about 20 degrees. On the old crankshaft, the pin is on this side, the right side, 20 degrees. So somebody at the factory who manufactured this crankshaft drilled that pin in the wrong position. So now our injection timing is out of time. So the piston could be on the downstroke or it could be on the exhaust stroke or whatever the case may be. It was just firing fuel at the wrong time. So we said, okay, well now let's order another crankshaft. Now we did go through Friday parts on this. I know we've talked several times, a lot of people have mixed emotions or reviews about Friday parts, but at least from Friday parts, I know I would have a warranty because they do stand behind stuff. We've got a couple questionable issues. We've had issues with them, but they always stand behind it. So that's why we went ahead and ordered one from them. And you can see that this one is actually, let me flip it around. Yep, so if we look at the crankshaft keyway down here, we can see that we are actually on this side of the keyway where we were on this side on the old crankshaft. And even the manufacturing process that we noticed on this crankshaft looks a lot better than the other crankshaft. It was you kind can, of a... You can see right here, I don't know if you can see on the camera, they got the heat treating. You can see the heat treating right here, the bluing. Mm -hmm. On this one, they don't have any of that. Yeah, this is the just casting a casting looks worse. Rough casting. And there wasn't much of a price difference. The difference is this one came off eBay because there was nothing available from Bobcat. That one came from Friday Parts. So I think it's just a better quality uh, crankshaft to begin with. All right, so Mike and Joel, mostly, mostly Joel, Joel. <laughs> oh, yeah. glad you agree with me, yeah. went ahead and put the engine back together put the crank and everything in, but you see, we didn't put the pumps and stuff on because we want to make sure that the actual engine runs. So we still got it hanging on the engine hoist. We just got it in there just enough. There's no coolant or anything in it. I mean, there's engine oil, but there's no coolant. We don't have the charge air tubes and stuff hooked up. Just um, the MAF sensor. Yeah, we just plugged it in and put the battery in. We're going to see if it'll start just hanging on the engine thing. That's all we need to know is we need to know if this engine's going to start now. So we got the remote start box in it and I mean, with all my arthritis, it's hard to cross my fingers, but I'm going to cross my fingers and hope it fires up. With all my right, arthritis. Mark. Arthritis, do the honors. Okay, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Much better. Much better. That is awesome. That is such a relief that's such a good feeling when you fight something for so long and you find out it was a manufacturing mistake not a, a, a human well i guess it was human error but not an assembly or a building area so yeah a little bit of smoke there but we can only run it for a couple seconds we know the engine will start and fire off now which is great so now we can pull this engine back out we'll hook up all the hydraulic pumps we got all the hydraulics hooked up and we'll have a good machine again you guys are awesome thanks joel where you at joel come here yeah come here and get your you're three minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> D34 crankshaft swap. Good for you, man. Appreciate yep. it. 
Well, any questions on that? Let us know. Let us know what your thoughts on that are. Getting a, have you seen that? Have you ever got a bad crank or a bad part that just completely messed up your whole job? Let us know. Thanks for watching.